Well, Barry Smith, officially, welcome to Aldershot Town Football Club. I suppose the first question has to be, why Aldershot Town? Uh, well, you know, I'm always looking for an opportunity and I see Aldershot as a great club. Um, you know, they've got the same aspirations as myself uh, and I want to be successful and so does Aldershot. Uh, so it felt an ideal fit. In that, what, what potential do you see in the club? Well, I think they're you know playing below par at the moment. Uh, I mean, we're sitting our 18th in the league. Um, I, I feel all the shots should be higher up the league. Um, you know, and the aspirations are, you know, if we have a great season, we'll get into the playoffs. You know, but we have to build slowly. Um, we'll have a new squad. We'll have some of the old players still here, but we, we are looking to build a new squad and to put a team that all the shots are proud of on the park. And. You say the playoffs is is the the immediate ambition. Is there a long term, a longer term vision for the club? Ultimately, well, you can see it everywhere around here in the John McGinty Lounge. The football league is the ultimate ambition. Yeah, as I say, a, a great season will be reaching the playoffs. You know, because we're sitting at eighteenth this season. Uh, to get into the playoffs will be a big ask, but it's where we want to be uh, going forward this season. Um, but in the future, you know, we want to take the club back to the football league where they've they've been and done well. In. And is that something that you can achieve in in the immediate term, into next season? Well, the, but obviously we we'll always want to be positive. Um, but you know, it's going to take a wee bit of time to for the team to gel together. Uh, but the, we want to be a team that is uh, older, short, are proud of, mm. and they'll be proud of this team that we can build. Uh, and. We, we need everyone working together, uh, the fans, the team, um, the management, uh, all together so that we can get to these places. And the quality, the style of the football that you want to play here has been mentioned a few times. Can you tell us a bit more about your plans on the pitch? Well, you know, we want to, we've got a great pitch out there um, and one that deserves good football. Uh, and I want to get the ball down and pass. Uh, but we have to be positive in the way we play. We want to be attack, attack minded. But with in mind, we have to be disciplined at the back as well. Uh, but first and foremost, we want to be attack-minded. Um, and we want to, get, as I say, get the ball down and play. And you mentioned the, the togetherness around the whole club. Is, is that one of the keys to success? What, what would you say is, is essential for the club to progress? Uh, you know, I've came from a, a club previously where we went into administration, similar to Aldershot, and the fans stuck with the players and they stuck with the management team. And it gets... Uh, you don't know how much the, the players appreciate that when the fans are right behind. And you know we fully appreciate that they want to see a team on the part that they want to get behind. Uh, and that's my job in building that. And maybe this is an unfair question. Why do you think the boards wanted Barry Smith? I think the board should be commended. And you know it's a bit left field for a lot of people. But you know they've seen a lot of qualities in myself uh, that can take this club forward. Uh, I'm confident that I can take the club forward, uh, but as I say, I need the backing from everyone, um, the players and the fans. And what qualities would you say that you bring to the club? Well, I think I'm a, a, a good leader, you know, as I say, I, I think players want to play for me because they know I'll give them the respect, they know I'll give them honesty, integrity, uh, and I'll do the same with the fans, you know, they'll, they'll get an honest answer if they ask one, uh, and I'm able to coach. Um, players and get an attacking team on the pitch. Mm. And I think you've previously said that and it's, it's a common answer that you take a little bit of each manager that you've previously worked under and that helps shape you in your managerial style. What, what kind of a manager would you say you are? I think I'm a good coach, you know, but as I say, my man management I think is, is very good. I'm able to get players playing um, and you need that, you need to we'll have a relatively small squad. Mm. Um, we need everyone uh, fighting the same corner. And I don't know if you consider this fair or not. What much of your success maybe is is in achieving against the odds, really, or maybe overachieving in keeping Dundee up despite the the twenty five points, in keeping Alloa up for only the second or third time in their history, beating Rangers to reach the the Petrofac final. How do you instil that kind of belief in your players? Oh, if I told you that's a million dollar question, <laughs> I told you that, I remember we'd be doing it. No, it's a case of, you know, as I say, man management, mm -hmm. making the players want to play for you, uh, giving them every chance to play uh, and getting that respect for that. Mm. And another key quality that you seem to bring is, is youth development. And it's, it's vital that a club like Aldershot Town, who can't afford to go out and pay transfer fees very often, that the club develops its own players. 
Yeah, definitely. You know, whether it be through the youth academy or through you know boys or young boys that might have been let go by senior clubs. Um, you know, I think that I've got a good knowledge of the youth game mm. um, and know how to develop players. Uh, so I'm quite confident that we can build uh, with experience and with uh, young players and getting a team on the pitch that the Aldershot fans will be proud of. Mm. And when you applied for the job, what did you know about Aldershot Town and, and the Vanarama Conference? Well, one of the things that I knew was it had been in administration and, you know, as I say, I like a challenge. Um, and I've succeeded in uh, a lot of challenges that I've took up. Uh, and I've seen Aldershot as a challenge for me and that's something I enjoy. I like being up against the odds uh, and I like to, you know, to do well, to succeed. Mm -hmm. And you'll be working with Chris Barker and Matt Gray, both of whom have, have got at least two years experience at Aldershot Town and in the conference and their, their qualities and their experience will be, will be vital to help you. Yeah, they'll be invaluable to me. You know, I know enough about the conference to be able to manage in it, but obviously their knowledge of the conference is going to, be, uh, very, it's going to help me a lot. Um, but I think, you know, although I've got limited knowledge of the conference, I think it's even more important that I know my own team and know that they're able to change formation if I want them to change or adapt to a system. Um, so I think it's even more important that I know my own team. And uh, you've watched the team several times already. Do you, do you see any parallels between the, the Scottish League and the conference? You managed a part-time team in Allerun. You know, some of the part-time teams in the conference are those that have achieved most. Yeah, I mean, the, it's obviously different coming down to England uh, and, you know, my knowledge of English football is OK. Uh, but, you know, when it comes down to it, I'm the manager of Aldershot and I want to look after Aldershot and do the best I can for them. Uh, and that'll be getting a team on the pitch uh, that, you know, will play entertaining, attacking football. And it is a commitment that you're making to the club to come geographically, you're coming a long way. So it is a commitment for yourself and for your family? No, I definitely I think that's the only way it should be. You know, um, I want to be staying in the surrounding area uh, to Aldershot uh, so that I'm a face in the community uh, because I think that's the way forward for Aldershot. And exactly, like I said, the, the community is a, a vital part of the club and the chairman has aspirations to make the club the, the most diverse, inclusive club in the country and that's something that you wholeheartedly support as well? No, I definitely. You know, I want to be that figurehead for the, in, in the community um, because I think it's important that my face is seen. It brings people to Aldershot, it brings the fans back to Aldershot and we get the young kids uh, back watching uh, the team as well. Mm. And the, the job starts today. You're meeting the playing squad this afternoon uh, to discuss their, discuss their futures and then we've got a whole summer in front of us. What is there a schedule in place between now and pre-season? Yeah, I mean, I'll be working from today, or well, I've been working before today, but, you know, I'll be working for, from today as the older short two manager, mm -hmm. uh, trying to get players in, looking at players that, you know, uh, that have been given to me, uh, and making sure that we've got a squad ready for the, the start of uh, pre-season. And you're excited to get started? Oh, well, without a doubt. I just, want, I just want all this interview stuff finished with. <laughs> yeah. and, in fact, I'm looking for more forward to the pre-season when I'm out on the pitch doing what I'm good at. Yeah, yeah. And you've mentioned the fans a lot already. Is, is there anything you want to say to them on your first day? As I say, I just need them to get behind the team um, and stick with us. There'll be tough times, but that's when you know teams are made. Uh, and you know all we ask is that they continue to give their wholehearted support to the club. Well, thank you very much and officially welcome to All Shot Town. Thank you.